From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your afternoon update. Not a bad day for the Tennessee Valley. However, the heat and humidity is starting to creep back into our forecast. It's going to stay with us for the next several days as well. But the good news is, is we have some rain chances to talk about. We need the rain here in the Tennessee Valley. Hopefully, we are going to get some of that much needed rain as chance as early as overnight for tonight. Overall, though, a relatively calm weather pattern for us, at least over the last few hours. We do have this dying complex of thunderstorms moving through Missouri and parts of Arkansas. Eventually, we may get some rain out of that, but our main weather maker, again, going to come after midnight. So for the rest of today, we are going to be dry Maybe a little hot, maybe a little humid out there. Temperatures getting up into the low 90s for pretty much the entire Tennessee Valley viewing area. A few clouds here and there. Otherwise, you will see plenty of sunshine this afternoon. But those cloud cover or that cloud cover is going to start to increase after sunset. And you can see that here on Futurecast with maybe a few morning showers or thunder showers in the area. Now, I will say not all models are totally in agreement in what we are going to see for tomorrow. But overall, our consensus and our forecast is that we are going to have scattered showers to thunder showers for the morning with some chances continuing into the afternoon. Some models has this complex dying out and fizzling out before it can really impact us, but other models have it holding together and staying put and giving us a good rain for the Tennessee Valley. So we're going to go with about a 40 to 50% chance for showers and thunderstorms for Wednesday morning and Wednesday afternoon. Because of the increase in cloud cover, we're likely only going to stay into the mid to upper 80s for tomorrow afternoon as well. Then that system gets on out of here for Wednesday evening. So if you have any plants for tomorrow evening, you should be totally fine and dry, but we will have rainfall in the beginning of the day. So don't let that ruin your evening plans. But then beyond that, we are going to hold on to an isolated storm chance that will continue into Thursday, mainly during the afternoon and early evening. And then the chance continues into Friday as well with some morning rain possible as well as some afternoon storms. So something to keep in mind for Friday, going to have another rain chance on the board. You can see plenty of rain chances over the next seven days. None all that great, none all that significant. However, again, I say this every time, but we will take anything that we can get because we do still have the ongoing drought condition. So overall, I'm not too upset about a daily rain chance for the next several days. In terms of temperatures, we are going to stay warm and a little bit muggy over the next few days, but nothing unbearable, nothing we haven't already seen before for us this summer here in the region. Temperatures will stay in the low to mid 90s with the exception again of our Wednesday due to a little bit more cloud cover and that rainfall possible early in the morning. Low temperatures should stay into the low 70s with a slight cool down coming next week. And I mean a slight cool down. We'll talk about that here in just a moment on the seven day forecast. Otherwise we are looking at Pretty much daily rain and storm chances, a pretty good chance for Wednesday, another pretty good chance for Friday, and those chances will maintain themselves into the weekend as well. Maybe a slight cool down towards next week, and I mean slight, we just go into the low 90s with maybe a little bit of a drop in humidity after the weekend storm chances. Let's look at your local forecast. Fred is back this evening with another weather update. 